How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. And if you're looking for some of the best VPNs for Comcast Xfinity, which is the largest internet service provider in the United States, and perhaps the most notorious for throttling its customers' internet bandwidth, you're probably looking for a good, reliable VPN to overcome the ISP's attempts to throttle your internet speed by using a VPN. Now, of course, I've tested over a couple of dozen VPNs, and I've narrowed it down to these four as the best overall all. They all vary in budgets and features, so pick and choose depending on your own situation, your preferences and budget, and what you're looking for out of these VPNs. Now, ExpressVPN is going to be the best VPN overall for utmost privacy and security. You've got over 3,000 servers in 94 countries, and you'll be able to secure up to five devices per subscription. It's a very easy VPN to use and highly compatible. Now, if you're looking for something that's about half the price as ExpressVPN, you can go with NordVPN with over 5,600 servers in 59 countries, and you'll be able to secure up to six devices per subscription. It's a great, well-rounded VPN for top security security and performance, and you get a lot of value for the money. Now, if you're looking for the best budget VPN that gets the job done at the cheapest possible cost, without sacrificing any of the necessary security features that you need to keep your devices secure, then Surfshark is gonna be an amazing option, especially that it has over 3,200 servers in 100 countries, and you'll virtually be able to secure an unlimited number of devices with just a single subscription. So this makes it a great option if you wanna share your account with as many friends and family members as you would like. Now, if you're looking for an even cheaper option, but not necessarily a worse option, it's just that you don't really get any of the features that you get with Surfshark, you know, such as uh, split tunneling, functionality in censorship heavy countries, and these two specialty servers that can be very useful. So if you're content with that kind of VPN, you can go with CyberGhost. And CyberGhost is a great VPN overall, especially if you just want to secure your device, you want to unblock a bunch of streaming services, you want to use it for gaming, for anonymity, or for just general security while you're torrenting, then it's just a great option. It's just that you don't really get that many features and the features that you get with it are more convenience based instead of functionality based but you get over 7,000 servers in about 91 countries and you'll be able to secure up to seven devices per subscription so it's all up to preference at the end of the day if you guys are interested though in learning a little bit more about the privacy policy speed streaming and torrenting capabilities as well as security and features you'll find the full reviews down below and you'll find links to pricing discounts if you want to jump straight to that of course they're all covered by a money back guarantee so you can just test drive these VPNs, and if you're not satisfied with any of them, you can just ask for the refund. Express, Nord, and Surfshark have a 30-day money-back guarantee. Meanwhile, CyberGhost has a 45-day money-back guarantee. So you have plenty of time, no matter which one you go for, uh, to just test it out before you fully commit to it. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.